Hi everybody, in this video I want to do a complete beginner's guide to field upgrades, kill streaks, and perks in Call of Duty Vanguard. Because if you're new to the game or you're returning to it after a bit of a break, this um, little refresher tutorial could come in quite handy. So first off, let's talk perks. So within Call of Duty, you know, within the multiplayer, as you play, you unlock different weapons, you unlock um, different perks, you unlock different kill streaks and field upgrades. Um, and for each different class that you create, so like each different kind of weapon loadout, you can have a different perks as well. So you can have different perks for different game modes, different game styles of you know the way that you're playing the game, um, different roles that you want to play, different things you want to try out. So let's take a look at the perks. And the perks um, are almost like they're like superpowers that you get in the game to make you a more effective soldier. And uh, you have the perk one list, perk two, and perk three. And basically, you can choose from one of these for each of these perks there are no wild cards at the moment in vanguard which are a thing you normally get which can allow you to increase the number of perks you pick and sometimes throughout the lifetime of the game there may well be balance changes that change some of these perks around but which ones you choose will depend on which game mode you're playing and which um, game style which play style you want to go for so for example if we look at the first list, we've got Fortified, which reduces your damage from explosives by 15%, which doesn't sound that much, but when you are mounted, crouched, or prone, that doubles to a third, so you'll be getting a third less damage from incoming grenades, which is very important when you're playing things like Hard Point or Domination, so objective-based modes where you're trying to defend an objective and the enemies are throwing grenades at you and you're less likely to die. However, if you're playing something like Team Deathmatch or Free For All, or maybe even something like Search and Destroy as well, Ninja is very important because you can move silently. So you can move around, flank the enemies um, without them hearing you. I mean, the footsteps in Vanguard are pretty quiet anyway. Um, Ghost, where you stay off the, the um, minimap, and Cold-Blooded, where enemy AI don't see you. There aren't turrets, though, in this one, so Cold-Blooded is probably not as effective as it is in previous cuts. Tracker, you can see people's footsteps. Again, good, probably in something like Team Dash Match or Free For All. Radar, though, could well be a crutch perk. By that, I mean a perk that everybody uses, because this is the one that means that you can see enemies when they fire with an unsilenced weapon. Now, in previous Call of Duties, if someone fired with an unsilenced weapon, they would appear on the minimap anyway. So, I think everybody's really going to be running Radar. High alert could be good for things like free for all. With this one, you get a visual indication on the screen when somebody's aiming at you or looking at you. Engineer, you can see enemy equipment. Very good for some things like search and destroy. Forward intel enables you to see where enemy spawns are going to be. Piercing vision, a bit controversial this one for a World War II game. In this one, um, when you shoot at someone, you don't kill them, but you suppress them. You can see them when they go behind cover. Perk 3 is double time, so you can tactical sprint for longer. Demolition, you carry an extra lethal spawn, lethal grenade in t when you spawn. Good for, again, objective-based game modes for clearing the um, the hill. Lightweight, you can move faster. Um, tactician, your tactical equipment, so your smoker, your stun grenade, regenerates every 30 seconds. Scavenger, you can pick up ammo. Good for gun running on long streaks. And Overkill, which is one of my favourite ones, which enables you to run with two primary weapons. So what I'll be working towards for, for my kind of loadout will be Overkill, so that I can run an SMG and probably an assault rifle or, or a DMR with a marksman scope on. So I've got a really good close-up weapon and I've got a really good uh, medium to long range weapon for engaging enemies at that distance. And then I will probably go with Fortified because I play Domination a lot and probably Radar. So they're probably going to be my three that I'm going to go for. Fortified, Radar and Overkill when I unlock it when my soldier gets to level 32. Now the other thing to remember as well is that weapons actually have perks really as well so when you go into the um, gunsmith and you go down to the proficiencies this is where we start to see perks on weapons so each individual weapon can have its own perks and each different loadout version of that weapon can have different perks so we've got sleight of hand um, so you can reload faster acrobat so you can you get a reduced aim penalty when getting up or lying down vital which is an interesting one increases the size of the critical hit area on enemies 
as soon as I get that, I will be unlocking that for this gun. It's only on level 55, so basically you're getting all the way up to the, the top level for that one, because it means that you'll kill enemies faster. So when you're thinking about your perks, always remember you've got these to put on your gun as well, those perks or proficiencies. Um, so next up, let's take a look at kill streaks. And kill streaks you earn by killing enemies without dying, and as soon as you die, your the the counter resets but there is a field upgrade that we can use to get around this we'll go through that in the, the beginning in, in a minute sorry and the thing i would say about um score streaks go for the low ones you know go for the ones that you can achieve so i personally don't think there's any point sort of choosing yeah you know, dogs or the firebombing run or local informants because uh, how many times are you going to get 10 kills in a game um you're much better off if you want to have a go at using those to get something like the care package where that will give you a random kill streak and then you might find you get a firebomb or you get dogs out of that um, rather than trying to earn it directly with with 10 kills um, personally um, i've got at the moment spy plane it's good for you and your, your team members glide bomb um, it's easy to use you can normally get like a double kill with that can't you and then the death machine because it's fun to use um yeah i just like the death machine it, it's really cool for clearing out flags and it's just just a fun thing to get um now field upgrades now you know when we we're talking about um kill streaks um there was a thing about um the fact that they are kill streak and if you die the counter resets and you start again if you unlock and then equip the dead drop um uh, field upgrade this means that when you activate the activate this if when you die the kill streak counter will not reset so if you're on a good streak you activate this and it can keep going so that could get you closer to where you want to be to bring in that that higher end kill streak um you know like with your perks the field upgrade you go for may well be um, dictated by the game mode you want to play and the play style you want to use so supply box is pretty good all the time to be honest because it is easy to run out of ammunition when you've got a full auto smg or ar and a blasting away with it so it's a good one i mean you get to start off with the goliath i don't think it's that good the goliath it's not like the old rcxd so i would probably avoid that dead silence if you're the sort of person who likes flanking around sprinting around and getting around behind enemies then probably worth using the jammer very good for objective based game modes again like hard point or uh, domination you know you put it down on the flag it means that when uh, enemies are coming up to the flag they won't be able to see you deployable cover again another one good one for hard point or um, domination because you can make your own cover on the uh, the domination and um, b flags in most of the vanguard maps aren't very well protected so having a bit of cover could make a big big difference armor plates probably good for a free for all and team deathmatch field mic another another good one for domination or hard point where you can put it on and then you can see enemies approaching trying to take the flag tactical insertion you throw this one down and that's where you will respawn the next time i've never really used tactical insertion that much i always felt that it would be better in larger game modes like um ground war from modern warfare 2019 um, and we've mentioned dead drop already. So there we go. There's a nice introduction to um, ooh, don't want to go there. To kill streaks, field upgrades, and perks. Hopefully, it gives you some ideas. If you found the video useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.